Hello everyone, this is Zach Cross on the Zach Cross channel, back with another fruit review just for you. Um, today I will be trying the new uh, Million Dollar Whopper Contest burgers. Um, the only one I did not get was this Mexican street corn. I heard it was just absolutely awful, and um, I also heard that the, the many re re reviewers already reviewed it and said it was... Um, very 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 bad and they I think they pretty much hated it but I kind of just want to go head to head on the uh, million dollar whopper contest review here I have the pickle pickle ranch, ranch whopper here and then I have the maple barbecue bacon whopper here we got the two whoppers so we're gonna go ahead and go head to head on these um, I'm also going to be doing a alcohol review segment I got this at um, Mark's. It's a Jamaican lager beer. It's a red stripe Jamaican lager beer. Uh, it has 139 calories and it looks like it's uh, a little, it's 4.7%. And I also have the Burger King French fries here. I didn't salt them just, just to uh, compare and test. So, first one I'll be trying to go head to head on is the Maple Barbecue Bacon Whopper right here. Um, I'm going to be going head to head, head with the Pickle Ranch Whopper uh, to see which one is better. So, let's go ahead and pop this open here. I got it straight from Burger King. It, here it is. It uh, looks like it has pickles, like fried pickles on there. Uh, bacon and uh, barbecue sauce and then it looks like a regular Whopper patty with cheese so I'll go ahead and put it up in frame for you here this is it right here it smells really really good um, okay let's go ahead and get a few bites of this and then I will make my determinations mmm That's very good. Um, that that maple sauce gives it a very nice sweet texture. There's a tanginess to it as well. That barbecue sauce gives it a nice tangy aftertaste. The fried pickles give it a very, very good um, contrast, that crunchiness to the burger patty. Burger patty is cooked very well. Um, it actually looks like it's been seasoned, which is interesting. Well, actually, no, it's a Whopper patty. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few more bites here and then uh, give my rating. Mm. That's good. The only note, I will say, the only note that is a negative to this burger is that the bacon, while crispy, is a little bit like not really spongy or sort of like a little bit undercooked the bacon is a little bit undercooked but other than that it's a very very good sandwich it's a beautiful day here <laughs> it's it's not a beautiful day it's it's pouring rain outside but anyway um for the maple barbecue whopper from burger king uh, I will be giving this a very high score. I'll be giving it a 4.6 4. out of 5 stars. Very high, high on my scale. Um, very, very nice flavors that are just really come together very good. So, um, yeah, that was the new Maple Bacon Whopper, Barbecue Bacon Whopper. Next, I will be trying the Pickle, uh, pickle Ranch Whopper also Burger King. Uh, okay, it looks like we got ranch sauce, we got the um, pickle, fried pickles things. Um, I will say from this initial observation here, from this initial observation, um, they did not put, they did not put enough fried pickles on there. 
uh, from my initial observation. I mean, if you if you count six, there's only six, and you can kind of see all the other surface area that's been um, brought up by the patty and then the lettuce. And there's for some reason they didn't put any lettuce on here. I mean. Uh, it, it, uh, go in and check out the bun. I mean, you can see here, you can see there's no lettuce, um, unfortunately, and there's only like five or six of the fried pickles, which is what it's supposed to be. I don't get that. Um, that's really weird. Anyway, and there's not enough ranch to begin with, but yeah, I'm just trying to break down the sandwich because they didn't put enough lettuce on here either. I mean... I still think it'll be good, it's just they didn't put a lot of toppings on it. Okay, let's go ahead and try the Pickle Ranch Whopper. That patty's good. Flame grilled meat, cheese is good. There's not enough sauce on there to begin with. Um, there's not enough ranch. Unfortunately, there's there's just not enough ranch on there to uh, say anything about that. Um, let's go ahead and take a few more bites here. I got a little bit of the ra the ranch in that one. Chewy. Basically, tastes like a regular Whopper. Um, the um, lettuce is crunchy, which is good. The fried pickle stuff is, is, is good, it's crunchy, nice contrast between the different flavors. But um, like I said, there's just not enough of it on there to make a good good sandwich. I mean, I, I barely saw any lettuce on there and there wasn't really any ranch, but it's it's okay. It just tastes like a regular, you know what, it, it tastes like a regular Whopper just with a few other things on there. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed with this, unfortunately, so. I think the um, maple bacon, maple bacon Whopper wins the head-to-head. -head. So I'll be giving the pickle ranch Whopper a score of um, lower score. I'll be giving it a three point three point four out of five stars. Three point four out of five stars is an average score, a little lower on my scale. Next, I will be trying the Whopper. Um, Burger King french fries. So these are just french fries. I didn't put any salt on them. They're fine. Um, they don't have enough salt. Um, you know, french fries some places. But sometimes I hit or miss. I've tried Wendy's before, and I, 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 I don't think I liked it very much. These are fine. They're not salty enough. Uh, okay, maybe some of them are salty. Um, nice crunch. Okay, I'll be giving them a lower score. I'll be giving them a 2.9 out of 5 stars. I mean, they're not even warm, and I just got this. I just picked this up. Not even like 10 minutes ago, I, 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 I bought this stuff and brought it home. So it should be Hot. It should be like it, at least lukewarm, but it's it's almost like it's cold at this point. It's like I mean, it should have been right off the fry or right off the fryer. Oh well. I mean, at least it still has a good potato taste, at least. And then for my al new alcohol segment, I'll be trying the Jamaican Lager Beer Red Stripe. It's a Jamaican beer. I got this at. Oh, I forgot to tell you all the prices. Um, the Pickle Ranch Whopper was $7. The Maple Bacon Maker, maple bacon Barbecue Whopper was $6.99. Again, $7. Uh, medium French Fries, both of them added up to $6.78. So let's go ahead and try this Red Stripe beer. I, uh, I uh, picked it up at Mark's, so cheers. good um it reminds me of the cores that i had last time i reviewed an alcohol it really does remind me of cores i 
it has a more sour, sour flavor, sour flavor than Coors. Coors has a more sweet, hoppy, barley sort of flavor. This has a very sour aftertaste. It has that barley taste and it also has a smooth sort of uh, hoppy texture flavor. It's not bad. Um, like I said, that sour flavor is more there than the uh, Coors that I reviewed, the Coors Banquet. It's it's fine. It's it's pretty good. Um, it's not bad. Um, it's pretty good actually. For the Red Stripe Jamaican Lager beer, I will be giving it a uh, I'll be giving it a four point four point four point four out of five stars. Four point four out of five stars. That is my review of the Red Stripe. So that's all the things. I have uh, reviewed, I, I definitely definitely like the Maple Barbecue Bacon Whopper better than the Pickle Ranch Whopper. So, uh, if you'd like to check out my other videos, they're down in the, they're down here or here. If you'd like to see my recent videos playlist, they're around in this section. Um, I have an Etsy called Random Stuff 2 by Zach. Instagram, Zach Cross. And, um, yep, that's it. I'll see you later.